Hey, what's up everyone? You're here with Goran from Cake Dogs, and thank you for joining me here for more free picks. And this time, once again, we have some EFL matchups uh, in England or Carabao Cup, as some of you might know it. Uh, we got uh, three games on Wednesday and then we have a big matchup on Thursday. We'll also talk about this one in this video, guys. So uh, make sure you check it out. Stay tuned and, of course, uh, subscribe to the Pig Dogs, uh, to the Pig Dogs YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button. And, of course, uh, if you want my best bets, check out Pig Dogs Premium section and uh, see what I have up there, guys. So let's get a move on, guys. Uh, we are kicking it off on Wednesday with this Blackburn versus Nottingham Forest matchup. Uh, Blackburn is one of the best teams in the championship, which is basically the second division of, of English football. And uh, they are actually getting pretty close to the top of the table. Uh, they are still fighting well uh, to get promoted back into the EPL. Uh, like I said, they are now in third place with 39 points, which is uh, 8 points away from the top spot but uh, offensively they are not as effective as the top two teams in the championship are however their defense is still pretty solid with uh, 26 conceded goals in 23 games overall i think that they are a decent team and uh, this is actually the spot where they think they actually have a good chance against this nottingham forest the team that hasn't been playing well this season in, in the epl uh, they are still in the relegation zone in the 18th place they have scored only 11 goals in 15 games while conceding 30, which is an average of two conceded goals per game. However, there is a big difference in quality between EPL and the championship, that's true. But uh, I think that Nottingham Forest is basically a championship ranked team. And uh, like I said, I think that Blackburn has the right to be hopeful here. And uh, I think they will have a say in this game, to be honest. I don't think that Nottingham Forest deserves to be plus 130 favorites as they are compared to plus 22, 22 that, uh, that, that Blackburn has at home. Uh, just because I think that Blackburn is more effective team. They are more solid defensively. And uh, like I said, I think they will have a say in this game, to be honest. So uh, I personally am going to take both teams to score in this game at minus 130. I think it's a great price. If you want to take a bit more risk, add over 2.5 as well. Uh, I think that if we see both teams to score, we're going to see uh, over two and a half goals as well. So for me personally, guys, both teams to score in this one. Second game, guys, is between Charlton and uh, Brighton. Charlton, they haven't had a good season so far and uh, they are struggling uh, in the championship as well. They were on a, on a big losing streak. Sorry, they are not in championship. They are in, they are in League One. Uh, which is below championship they might be scoring a decent number of goals 31 goals in 21 games so far but they're also conceding a lot of goals uh which is 30 in 21 games but uh they were in bad bad form before the world cup break uh they have played uh a, a game just a few days ago uh, and they lost uh, to bristol rovers at home uh, that just kind of deepened their bad form and uh, I think that Brighton will have a good game here. Brighton has uh, has been solid before the break. Uh, they had a few wins in a row. They lost uh, just before the break to Aston Villa, but they played a friendly game against Aston Villa like a week ago or maybe 10 days ago, which was a 2-2 draw, but uh, it was a friendly game and uh, I don't think they were just playing like all the way in in, in, in that game. So uh, I think that with this being the first competitive game for Brighton in, in over a month, I think they will come out and uh, they will try to get a win as soon as possible just so they can stay as rested as, as possible for the EPL that's coming up. And uh, I think that Charlton... I don't think they can do much in this game, to be honest. So I'm actually taking halftime full time here. I'm gonna take Brighton halftime full time, like I said. Uh, that means that Brighton has to lead at halftime and has to win this game within 90 minutes, which I think they will do. I know that they are missing a couple of players. Uh, McAllister is uh, still not available after finishing the World Cup for Argentina. Uh, they got a couple of injuries, I think, but still a pretty stacked team that has done solid job in the EPL so far this season. And for that reason, I think that uh, they definitely deserve to be the favorites that they are in this game. So, uh, halftime, full-time, uh, Brighton. So, 
like I said, guys, Brighton has to lead at halftime and has to win this game within 90 minutes. And uh, the third game of the Wednesday slate, guys, is Manchester United versus Burnley. Uh, this is a matchup between two EPL teams. I know that United hasn't done well. They lost two friendly games uh, during World Cup. But uh, in the EPL, I'm not going to say they were good offensively. They have scored 20 goals in 14 games, which, let's be honest, it's not that bad. Uh, their defense definitely needs improvement, but they have been, I'm going to say, decent, and they have been improving. Uh, they have lost only one of their last, what, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 games or so. Uh, their form was good before the World Cup, and uh, if they want to do something this season, if they want to win a trophy, I think that this Carabao Cup competition might be something they have to go for. Uh, because they are far away from the top of the table in the EPL. Uh, they will not do much in the Europa League. I don't think they will. They are facing Barcelona in the first round of the knockouts. Uh, and uh, in the FA Cup, I think they got knocked out of the FA Cup already. So there's nothing... No, actually they are playing against Everton. So uh, there's hope for that yet. But EPL and the Europa League, I think that's out of the question. Uh, as far as Burnley goes, guys, uh, Burnley is a solid team, uh, one of the best in the championship, if not the best. Uh, I know I said that they are in the EPL, I apologize for that, guys. Kind of mixed my teams here, but uh, they are at the top of the table in the championship. They are, have been the most effective team with 46 scored goals, uh, conceded only 24 in 23 games, which is pretty solid defensively, uh, considering how, co how competitive the championship is. And they are on the right track to get back into the EPL. Now, we see that United is a pretty big favorite here, minus 235. But I think that Burnley has the quality uh, to compete with Manchester United in this game. Especially considering that Manchester United is missing a few players. Uh, some of them are injured, some of them are not yet back after the World Cup. And uh, I think this is going to be an interesting game. Like I said, Burnley absolutely outstanding when it comes to scoring goals in the championship and given the fact that United's defense hasn't been something special this season I think that Burnley, Burnley gets on the scoreboard here so uh, this is one of games that uh, I'm gonna be taking both teams to score in and uh, it's minus 134 right now I think that price might drop a little bit more still so uh, make sure you get the best odds you can guys so both teams to score for me in this Manchester United versus Burnley game and I did mention that game, guys, on Thursday between Manchester City and Liverpool. That is going to be a big, big matchup. Uh, Liverpool, they have a lot of injuries. And uh, some of their best offensive players are, are on that list. And uh, they're definitely going to be struggling uh, with that. But uh, Liverpool is still a pretty stacked team, to be honest. And uh, they still have a lot of quality. But honestly, I think that Manchester City is probably a step above Liverpool right now. I know that this is a big matchup, but it's also a Carabao Cup matchup, which is a competition where I don't think that these big teams, especially teams like Manchester City and Liverpool, the teams that are aiming to get the EPL title, are kind of going all out in a competition like this. Uh, I don't think that Liverpool will risk unnecessary injuries here. And even though their form has been pretty solid before the World Cup, I think that they might have a few players who haven't played a lot so far in, in, in the lineup for this game, just kind of to save themselves the injuries and uh, so they can stay as solid as possible for the EPL that's coming back in just a few days. Now, I did mention Manchester City, guys. Manchester City has been pretty solid in the EPL. They are at the top. They are actually in second place with 32 points. Uh, the most effective team in the EPL with 40 scored goals and one of the best defensive teams as well with only 14 conceded goals in 14 games. Now, uh, both of these teams have had a lot of players playing at the World Cup and some of them are back, some of them are not yet back. Uh, but I think that Manchester City has a huge advantage here because Holland was not playing at the World Cup. Uh, he's fit, he's ready to play, he's healed, uh, he doesn't have any more injury problems and... Uh, He's going to be at full strength here. He's going to be leading the charge for Manchester City. 
I also think that, think that Kevin De Bruyne is back and uh, Jack Grealish is back as well, I would say. At least I assume so. I know that uh, he was on vacation after England got knocked out of the World Cup. Not that he did much in that. Uh, but uh, I think that pretty much 95% of the players from Manchester City are ready to play in this game. And uh, for that reason, guys, I'm taking Manchester City on the money line. Uh, it's minus 104 right now. I think that they are the better team at the moment. They have less injuries and uh, I think that they are more competitive right now. They have to stay in form if they want to catch up to Arsenal in the EPL. They have to stay in form before the Champions League and this is the time where there are a lot of games in England uh, in all sorts of cup competitions in the EPL as well. And uh, they got to stay in form, like I said. So... Not that Liverpool is not going to fight in this game, but I just think that Manchester City is the better team at the moment, and for that reason, I'm taking City on the money line at minus 109. That's it, guys. Uh, these were your four picks for the EFL Cup on Wednesday and Thursday in the EPL uh, in, in England, like I said. Uh, we have halftime, full-time Brighton. Uh, we have both teams to score in Blackburn and Nottingham Forest. Both teams to score in Manchester United and Burnley. And Manchester City on the motherland against Liverpool. That's a big matchup on Thursday, guys. Like I said at the beginning of this video, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Pig Dogs YouTube channel. There's a lot of free picks to come. We got all the top leagues back in about a week or so, probably even less. Uh, of course, uh, there will be more videos. There's going to be more premium picks. So check out my Pig Dogs uh, premium section. Check me out. See what I have up there and subscribe to one of those either three days, seven day or a daily pass if if that's what you want, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me here and uh, stay tuned for more free winners.